today I'm going to show you guys how to check your fuses for your hit light on the Acrim DX. So first thing we're going to do is turn the hit lights on. There we go. So that's the on position. Next we're going to look at the hit light. The current issue is that this bulb is not working. Something with the wiring, something, you know, the wiring throughout the vehicle or just a fuse. You know, so let, we're going to keep it to a simple, simple issue such as checking the fuse. And we're going to roll over here to this side. And as you can see, that one is working absolutely fine. So what we're going to uh, do is turn the headlights off and pretty much come up to our fuse box here. And we're going to look at the fuses. So we got headlight, right headlight, and we have left headlight. So let's take a look at this. All right, so now that we have the headlights completely off, now we can go over here and click this box. And again, we uh, identify under lighting, uh, the right headlight fuse is 20A, left fuse is 20A. As you can see, 20A for right headlight and left 20A. So what we're gonna do is grab our fuse Puller. Right, so as you can see this opens and closes so we're going to pull from that and we're going to go ahead and pull the first fuse just to just to rule out any uh issues there so i can put down the tool and looking at this fuse in the middle as you can see here there's no burnt marks there's no breakage there this fuse looks absolutely fine so what we're gonna do is put this fuse back inside. So I'm just gonna kinda just push it down there. For some reason my phone lately has just been not able to focus. So now we're gonna grab that fuse. We're gonna go ahead and pull that. Uh -huh. Let's take a look at here. All right, so as you guys can see, we have a burnt mark here and it looks like it's some sort of breakage too, like the fuse, is, the fuse length is actually broken. That's what I'm looking at. So with that in mind, and this is a 20, we're just gonna go ahead and place that there. So this is a 96 pieces mini fuse that I purchased from the auto parts store. I think I got this from either Advance or Pebble, this is one of them. So again, we're looking for a 20, a 20 here. fuse box. Reinstall it. Turn the lights back on. Alright, that's a short sign there. Our fan is working. Hmm. Fan's working, but the bulb is not. LED is not. So, it looks like that LED is indeed bad. We're gonna go ahead and first make sure it's not hyper protection. We'll take this bad boy out of there. Let's see what we got. So we just got two. Yeah, this one just has two uh, LEDs on here. That's not good at all. Pull. from here so I'm gonna disconnect from here I might not be able to get it. all right I got it off so this is just bad let me see if I can find a temporary repl <laughs> replacement again as you can see we have a another set of bulbs inside these are just strictly straight up LED without the actual uh, baluster it's connected directly to the wire harness as you can see there that is strictly a led bulb and i'll show you guys real quick 
what the bulb looks like. Yes, sir. I often keep spare bulbs. I it's it's a must. Yes, sir. It is a absolute must to keep spare bulbs. This side, we're gonna keep the LED uh, baluster. I'm just gonna keep that for the time being. No need to uh, swapping that out. And this side, we're gonna keep this LED light in. Uh, reason being is because this light might be a bit dimmer compared to that one since that one is running off a uh, baluster. Um, yeah, that is it. Uh, she is good to go. She is good to go.